Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for checking back in. I'm Roddy from Rides for Days and today I'm taking a look at my Little Ox helmet lock which I purchased a while ago. Um, this is a pretty cool little little lock. Um, I actually bought it when I had my Sportster um, so I've actually had to change the bolt out um, but I won't get into the specs of the bolts right now. If you jump on the Little Ox website I'll leave a link down below. Um, and uh, type in what sort of motorcycle you've got um, they'll be able to find the right kit for you but this lock is dead easy to use it's very discreet which is what I like about it and um, you know it's actually quite reasonably priced as well it got me thinking about putting it back on the bike when I bought my new helmet uh, I just recently bought this Biltwell lane splitter helmet I really like it um, I love the look of it um, it's actually a bit lighter than the other helmet which I've been using, uh, which was the Gringo S. Also purchased this uh, dark visor, which I just for the look, I really like the look of the, the black on white. And uh, also the other reason for buying the black visor was that um, it hurts my head if I've got a pair of sunglasses on, you know, in behind the clear visor. After a while around the ear area and the temple area, it starts to really hurt. Um, so with a tinted visor on, um, you know, it's no problem at all and I'm not riding in the dark so I'm not worried about getting caught out with a, with a, um, a dark visor. <clears throat> if the worst comes to the worst I can always just raise the visor up um, or if I'm going for a long trip as a backup I can always pack my clear visor. Um, the other thing I like about this helmet, it's got this little um, chin skirt, I suppose you call it, underneath here and um, it does stop a lot of that wind getting up you know sort of in around your chin area and then once I convert this helmet over for um, motor vlogging I think that's going to help with um, keeping the wind out of the uh, sort of out of the microphone when I'm talking and um, but yeah I just generally love the look of this helmet itself which is obviously one of the main reasons why I bought it. it cost me about $400 Australian for the helmet um, I'll, I'll leave a I'll leave the price and the product code there. Uh, 400 bucks for the helmet and also another hundred dollars roughly for the uh, visor itself. That didn't come with it, that's an extra. Um, but yeah, no, I really like this helmet. All right, so getting into this lid locks helmet lock, um, I'll just quickly show you how it works and then we'll head down to the bike. Um, so as I say, it came with a different bolt when I had my Sportster. Um, but now that I don't have the Sportster anymore um, and I've got the Sport Glide, I had to change out the bolt. But you know, if you type in what bike you've got, you'll get all the right gear. So it comes with this little cool little lock itself. It's got a set screw in here. So basically, what you do, you remove the bolt from the motorcycle. I use the bolt next to the master cylinder of the brake, um, just near that near the housing, the switch housing there. So remove that bolt and then. In this piece itself, how it works is you get this bolt and then just insert it like so. Then you get this uh, spacer that comes with the kit, put it there like that. And then you get the washer that came from behind the bolt that you just took out and then put that in there. And then you just screw that, I think it's a 3 16 Allen, but I'll confirm that when I, um, when I go to put it into the bike. So bolt that into the bike itself and then you get the actual lock part itself and then that just basically will, and you'll see when I'm down there, um, that will screw all the way in until it gets to the very end. I'll just quickly show you guys. That's kind of roughly what it'll be like but it'll be, it'll be flusher in and then when you get to that, when, when that's done, you get the little Allen key that's provided and you tighten up that set screw so that the lock can't be removed and voila there is your lid locks helmet lock attached to your bike it's really cool and um, of course it comes with a set of keys as well to undo your helmet all right let's go down to the bike and let's install it all right guys we're down at the bike and uh, just a correction on the bolt on the Sport Glide, it's actually a T27 
Torx piece, Torx bit, to get the uh, stock bolt off the sport load there. And then it's a 3 16 Allen to get the new one on. So just to recap, so you've got your helmet lock and then you just pull it in like that, get your washer, oh, sorry you get your spacer and then get the washer from the bolt that you just removed from the bike, so it should look like that and then with the 3 16 Allen, let's get it on the bike and just making sure when you screw it in just to keep this straight up so that the side, the slit part doesn't go to the side because you want the set screw to be dead set underneath. And I forgot to mention the good old blue thread lock. Okay, cool. So that's the lock installed on the bike. Well, that's the housing of the lock installed. So let's get the barrel of the lock in now. So basically we just get the lock itself and without cross threading it, just get it started. Oops, a bit fiddly. And just with your key that comes with the kit, uh, just gently insert it into the lock itself and then use it to twist the lock into place. And you should just feel it stopping like that. Once you feel it stopping like that, remove the key and then that's the lock installed on the, on the actual lock, it, on the housing itself. And now we just tighten up that set screw underneath to stop this, um, to stop anybody being able to remove the lock from it. The set, the set key holds it in place. And then when you're undoing the lock, like twisting the lock back and forth, um, the, set screw, the set screw stops the lock from being moved. Cool, done. So dead easy guys. You remove the stock bolt with a T27. This is obviously on a 2019 sport load. Um, stock bolt from the handlebar, T27. You've got a 3 16 Allen in the bolt, which goes straight through the housing with the, um, the spacer that you can see there. And then the washer from the original bolt. Tighten it all up, put the barrel of the lock in, twist it all the way around till it, till it um, won't go any further. Twist in the set screw underneath to tighten the lock up to stop you being able to untwist it and voila, you're good to go. Alright, so you can see the, uh, the button on the lock here, push it, now as you can see that um, the lock is now engaged and then to uh, undo the lock, simply and that's it. Dead easy and um, really simple, very discreet, and um, I love it. And it's black, so it ties in with the rest of the bike. All right, guys, so that's the helmet locked in place with the Lidlocks helmet lock, as you can see there. And then with the lock in. Voila, dead easy, nothing to it, very effective and looks really cool on the bike. Alright guys, that's the lock installed, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you in case you're thinking of getting a Lidlox helmet lock, if you are, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, and give this video a big dirty thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.